uh, okay so today I'm going to show you uh, how you can use the retargeting tag into Shopify okay so first of all you need to click on uh, go to your ad account click on tools and go to audience manager then click on your ad data your data sources sorry and click on the details okay so here you will find this tag this this universal tag and this tag so why this tag is necessary uh, actually we all know uh, what about uh, about remarketing uh, like using a catalog so with this id google identifies uh, the product and target uh, as a retargeting ad so if someone clicks on your product uh, and you are also running a dynamic ad for remarketing uh, your catalog uh, with performance max or any other you know uh, manual re remarketing campaign so this tag should be properly placed so google can identify the product which received the view so with with the id product id google retarget the same product to the same user so let me show you how you can use this tag and generate the id here and all the important information uh, in shopify okay let's move on okay so all you need to do uh, is go on online shopping click on themes edit code i will show you the demo uh, I will show you like uh, how we can test it click on theme liquid okay so first you have to copy this because this tag is very important to send the data to Google and paste it here okay so how we are going to use this second uh, script right under the universal tag paste it so here come the real information okay you can do you can get rid of this data and uh, I will also uh, paste this code in video description so you can uh, co copy and paste it okay so this is now a clean script we will going to edit to be used okay it says replace with the value okay so we should we have have to have a value here uh, of the product means the pr price of the product like it's, if it's 38 dollar so the script should uh, get the price here and send it to google so the more information you give to the google the more uh, you know accurate retargeting will be okay so there is a tag product dot price okay so we just to pass the we just want to pass the value so uh, with with this uh, another uh, co, uh, another tag we will uh, be able to get rid of the cur currency currency sign i mean Okay, and now this one is replace it with value. Okay, okay. So there are two ways. Uh, I will show you uh, on my Shopify store. Uh, the code look like this. Let me show you. Because I deleted the code to just to show you the video. Because the exact product ID look like this. It looks like this. So I'm going to use the co same code which will generate this ID because this is exactly the product ID. I will also show you how you can uh, just, you know, uh, if, if you have a different ID system in your Shopify, you can do this as well. But let me show you mine how it works. Okay, so mine is.
okay so product dot id you can all also use product dot id alone if you i uh, shafia doesn't generate this type of ids okay let's check with this how how it works okay so i'm going to click save and let me refresh go to page source okay so with this search let's search this tag okay see the id is generating the price is generating okay my bad we have to use the usd as well Okay, now, so what about this second variant ID? This is main ID, this is variant ID, okay? Uh, we also need a variant ID if you have the variation in the product, like two, three uh, variations. This is a variant ID, this is a variant. So we also have to, you know, pass the value to of variants. So what we are going to do, we have another, another code, okay. Variant. Okay, so we have the ID here, uh, we have the price, and this is sending data to Google audience source data source soon we will have you know the ID uh, sometime uh, even if you send the right details it shows this error but make sure you just go and check it here like this is a product ID this is a person ID sorry ID the user generate ID for each user this uh, all this you know uh, value used to re uh, use in retargeting and value see this is value let me show you also show you example how retargeting shopping ad look like See when you visit some site, it shows you. It also shows on YouTube. It also shows on uh, site monetized with Google Ads. This one like this. So you can target. See, someone is targeting this bag on YouTube. So what you can do, you can retarget it, uh, the exact same product to the exact same user who visited that product like give them a discount and uh, you can have them back and even if they abandoned card they can you can uh, retarget with the exact product so you understand i am going to you know post this co code inside under the video thank you so much